hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening how are you guys doing i hope you guys are fine i hope you guys are okay so today i'm going to make a video about laptops for cyber security and programming all right this is just my opinion okay uh don't take it personal like uh, oh he doesn't like msi or he doesn't like acer or apple this is my only opinion and the laptops i had worked with okay i already had macbook pro i had acer msi alienware dell lenovo and many others all right so please just don't take personal i just took some laptops in the same range of price with almost the same configuration and i'm going to show you guys what i think it's good or not to work all right so let's do it well the first one obviously is apple uh remembering that i'm not telling you guys hey buy your laptop on best bay i'm not saying that all right i'm just using the best bay website to show you guys because even apple doesn't have like prices or something like that actually i couldn't find it on on the website right i had i didn't have time to look for so apple macbook pro 14 inch screen it's nice it's very good all right and it's m3 pro chip uh 18 gigabyte memory it's very nice also and 14 core gpu 512 uh, gigabytes ssd all right and it's black well the color actually doesn't matter because we want um the functionality like how fast it is okay so this is the first one and then here is another macbook pro and we can check the price here is 1799 dollars all right and this one is a Apple MacBook Pro, also 14 inch screen, M3, but this is just a 8 gigabyte memory, 10 GPU core, but it has 1 terabyte SSD. And the price is $169. Right, so I think it's okay on the price. And now we are going to see another MacBook Pro, and then we are going to another brands okay uh, the point here is i can install linux because normally people who works with cyber security only they use the most of the time they use linux all right all right scali ubuntu debian uh or any other okay normally they use ubuntu i use ubuntu myself but as a program in c sharp as vb dot net i had to use windows okay i have to use windows so i have my own laptop with oh my bag is right here i actually have a laptop with linux installed on it okay we can do it in mac or in macbooks also but i think it's not nice no well, and then we have this one right here, MacBook Pro, 13.3 inch screen. Okay, Apple M2 chip, 24 gigabytes memory, one terabyte SSD. The price is $2,099, is a little bit higher price, but the quality is a little bit better, okay? Well, instead the M2 could be M3, but obviously that's going up, right? now uh checking up on hp computers i found few of them actually and the most interesting for me was this envy laptop 17 inch screen All right it comes with windows 11 home screen 7.3 inch intel core 7 uh i think is third uh, the 30th generation 32 gigabytes memory, 1 terabyte SSD. So there's a NVIDIA 3050, and the price is lower than Apple, obviously. 
the price is a thousand thirty hundred nineteen dollars ninety nine dollars all right so i think it's a very nice option you guys can check out about others right here like a laptop with a uh, latitude all right uh from dell actually i'm talking with you guys here i'm using an alienware 64 gigabytes memory uh i7 12 generation 4 terabytes ssd 8 16 gigabytes a uh, graphical card okay but i use on daily basis every single day videos hacking virtualization you know a lot of stuff so for me in the one very nice laptop is latitude right this first two are my options here uh 16 gigabytes memory ddr4 uh 512 gigabytes ssd 15.6 inch display full hd the price is eight thousand three hundred sixty nine dollars and then we have this one here also it's basically the same configuration but uh the graphical it's different so because this the price is lower okay uh also i'm not telling you guys hey buy laptop dell all right i'm just showing you guys on a nice price okay i'm some people will say all right but uh, uh 15 grand are too much well it depends if you work every single day with a computer every single day programming and every single day with virtualization hacking probably you want to have a very nice computer so i recommend you guys this one all right and then we come to legion uh legion uh pro 5i gen a 16 intel gaming laptop all right the price it's very nice is the cheapest one i think 952.19 uh 952 dollars well there is i7 third generation ssd storage okay so this one is nice too and i recommend you guys this one here okay and this one right here i recommend it also that's nine nine hundred one and fifty nine cent dollars and fifty nine cents okay so also 16 gigabytes memory uh 16 inch screen so it's a very nice laptop okay and then we have here acer predator helios new 16 also i intel i7 13th generation uh geforce 4050 with 16 gigabytes ddr5 512 gigabytes ssd the price nine hundred forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents the configuration here is nice we can use for virtualization you can use to run um dual boot systems we can use like actually all of them except apple we can i never did on apple i'm not saying that's impossible right but on those the on these laptops that use windows as primary operating system uh, we could use like dual boot or we can use to virtualize few virtual machines okay like tails hunix hunix gate and workstation also it runs better uh for like password cracking okay let's say we have hashcat and we have a password list and we want to crack some password using the hashcat and the password we instead using memory okay run memory we can use the graphical card to run on the list using hashcat okay so it's configurable we can do it all right so i think this one is a very nice laptop and then we have this one here acer predator helios 
it's almost the same. Okay, a hundred eight thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I think though both of them are like twenty four megabyte um, cache. Okay, cache memory. I'm not. If I'm not mistaken, it and uh, operating system Windows 11 and Nvidia for the 60, yeah, it's much is a little bit better than the the other one. And start your engines, blah blah, killer connectivity, the X Ultra, cooling perfected, yeah, ports. Then here has few ports, okay, and then SSD. Probably you can like put like two SSDs. Okay, there's two entrances of PCIe, and I think it's enough for now. Remembering that I'm not telling you guys, hey, buy on this website or buy this laptop. Okay, this is my point of view because I work with cybersecurity every single day, so I know, like, my the company I work for gave me laptop. Okay, then I had to upgrade for memory and SSD, all right, and then still not good enough. So this one I'm talking to you guys, this one I'm using to make this video is very good, okay? So never crash and it's fast, processes every single thing. I do like uh, run virtual machines using Kali or any other thing when I want to do something faster than... I had to take my laptop and my Dell is a, um, it's a Dell Latitude 7090. So I have installed a Kali on that machine on the hard drive. Okay. 16 gigabytes, i7, 19 generation and one terabyte SSD, the another one. Or, all right. So this is my opinion on laptops that can be used for programming and cyber security i'm not saying hey eight gigabytes is not good but i'm saying do you want something good that's something you can take for a while you can use for a while that's the configuration okay so that's it guys thanks a lot for your time thanks a lot for watching my video for watching my content and see you guys in the next video